All right, so um, I got the machine finished up. Um, the Simpsons that I changed over to like a a, a hybrid uh, golden tee. Um, the reason I chose it was because it was four player and it had the track ball. And I just thought that it could play a lot of games um, if I modded it. So I really didn't really care about the Simpsons portion, but I do care about the golden tee. I got the golden tee graphics. Um, finally, they arrived for the front. Got Tiger Woods on there on the riser, and then you know the golden tee graphic, which matches the uh, the golden tee marquee. The marquee fits perfectly uh, in that area where the uh, the little panel would normally go. I think it's labeled J. I call it a J panel, but that's it's because it's labeled J. Um, got the uh, retro arcade uh, trackball put in. I got the graphics uh, for the control deck from Escape Pod. Um, the graphics for the front are arcadegraphics.com. I did, uh, I recycled the um, arcade one up buttons for each player. Uh, player one is on the front. Then we have player two, player three, and then player four is over here. So stand, standing, standing back, uh, that's what it looks like. Um, and, you know, of course, it's set up to play The Simpsons. So we can just go down and we'll hit the Simpsons. A lot of Street Fighters. Um, plays those. Uh, plays all your uh, your Ninja Turtle games. So with the uh, Ninja Turtle games and the Simpsons and everything that comes on this um, SD card. Uh, there's the Simpsons Arcade right there. We'll go ahead and load that up. Um, that allows you to play four player. The other one was a two player version. So there's two Simpsons. The Simpsons allow you to go into uh, the test menus um, if you hold the start button. So like that's the start button, hold that down. Um, like right now, I can just do that and it should go into it. There it goes. Manual test menu. And I've got, um, you can go down, coin game options. And um, difficulty, I've got to sit on very difficult. Just normal is not challenging. It's just, this game's not hard at all. So, um, sound and attract mode is off. So that's good. And then exits, get out of that. Just wanted to show that real quick. I don't know if you can do, I don't think you can do that on the arcade one ups at all. So, and then uh, I wanted to show on the back side, uh, did a little something different this time. Um, I got these, okay, I put the speakers up here. And then what I did is I've got all these joysticks running. And I for player one, I used a USB uh, splitter. This is my player one. This has got my USB encoder and my trackball. This is also a splitter cable. So um, run, uh, this is plugged into the Pi, this, uh, this USB splitter. And then from the, this first port, I run a USB splitter cable again to hook into the uh, USB encoder and trackball so everything works on Golden T. And then I'll have these uh, labeled uh, 64 SN for Super Nintendo. That's Nintendo 64. And then PS for PlayStation. And then you can see you got the, the 64, the uh, Super Nintendo, and the PlayStation all mounted. And I put what I call a spoiler on the back, just a piece of wood that's got a little bit of a, a lip to it. So that you can just like put your controller like that. And um, there he goes. It doesn't touch the speaker. Um, it just barely clears it, but it does. And then it's got a remote control for the volume. Uh, this is a, uh, you see this brand of speakers? It's Pile. I got the same brand of amp and it's about like an 80 watt amp or something like that. It was like 40 or $50. It's a lot more expensive than the typical Kenter that people are using, but um um it works a lot better and so i got that and then you know i got these extension cables for the controller so you can they, they pull out very like six or eight feet i think so you can just pull around the front and play whatever games you want and uh this comes in handy for all your uh, like super nintendo games of course like street fighter and this is the only way you can play mario kart 64 correctly so you need this controller that has this little deal here you could actually use the playstation one that has that but it's it feels better to use the original controller um and there's the, the simpsons it's up uh i can show you real quick see i got marge homer, homer going 
Bart, and then hit the front right here. And we have Lisa. And we just hit start on all of them. Or any of them, one of them, they'll all pop up. Um, but yeah, just, okay. Fast forward all this crap. But yeah, there's, okay. Where's all my guys? There they go. And then, yeah, so we have everybody going. Oh, they got the. Yeah, all right, so cool. Uh, we'll hit start and select. Uh, get out of that. And uh, we'll come back up here to um, the, the favorites menu. And um, we're going to go up to Golden Tea, which is the whole reason I really want to do this. All right, so we got um, Golden Par Golf, which is like the first Golden Tee, and then Golden Tee 97, 98, 99, Golden Tee 2K, 3D Golf, Golden Tee Classic, which is like what I have as far as the marquee and stuff. Then we had the original Golden Tee Golf from 89, and Golden Tee Golf 2, 91. Um, golf from the Famicom Disc System, which is like Nintendo Golf, but if you get it on the, play it on the Famicom Disc System, it's a lot better. And I got a lot of trackball games like Missile Command. Um, and then, of course, all of your NBAs play uh, NBA Hang Time arcade version, NBA Jam arcade. And they got the same ones on the Nintendo. And then NBA Jam um, Tournament Edition arcade. And um, so, anyway, back up here to Golden Tee. I'm going to put on Golden Tee Classic. Go into that. And so, yeah, everything came out pretty well. I just decided to um, not worry about the graphics on the deck and just drill the buttons where I could. Um, I got a little bit close to the trackball here. I had to modify this button so it wouldn't be hitting the ball. Um, this trackball by Retro Arcade is awesome. It works perfectly. And there's Golden Tee Classic. And see, that, that's cool because it you know matches up with the, uh, the marquee. And of course, the graphics that I got down here. Um, but this is, is such a cool game. We can go ahead and check it out. drive because i was watching the camera but yeah everything is so perfect on this thing man and this this like i said the tri ball is perfect for metro arcade super sturdy it changes color um and i wanted to compare it to the original ball as well and you can see the massive difference that's that's the original track ball from the game compared to it it's literally like twice the size and this one just doesn't even spin much but I was going to say, this is the square um, casing. This is about the same size, I believe, as that square uh, track ball that's on Amazon. Uh, it's about $30 or $40. And it also has like a color-changing ball, too. It's just a lot cheaper uh, than this retro arcade. It's not as big. I think it's, it's small watch like this. Um, it's telling me to watch my time, but I'm doing a video. So, But anyway... Um, I believe that this would fit in the original control deck. Um, if you got the, uh, the square one off Amazon for really cheap. And, um, I wanted to say this too, as far as the USB splitters, I got this one first. This life and love is only $6. Uh, this one port broke. The switch doesn't even really work. These switches have are crisp and this one just flops around. It, it did it on its own after a week. I didn't even mess with it. So don't buy that brand. I got a different one. Um, this is rubber molding, uh, black rubber molding, and it's got the adhesive. You just peel that back, and it's really super sticky. It's got like 3M tape or something on it. And I went around the whole edge of my deck with it. Uh, you want to start on like one Watch end and go around and, uh, and just do that. That adds a nice finish to it. Um, I did, um, the, the control deck out of wood. I had to cut my own when using a jigsaw. I used a Dremel tool, so, uh, a lot on this thing. Um, there's little pillars there inside this, uh, black plastic. There's like a little pillar right here where they do, um, a screw. 
I take the Dremel tool with a cutting wheel and cut the whole thing out. That way my trackball has enough room to, to, to sit um, up, up against the black plastic without this pillar pushing it forward an inch. So you need to do that. Cut that out. A Dremel tool with a cutting wheel is very important to do this mod. And then the Golden Team Marquee that I ordered off Arcade One Up fits perfectly in that area. I will do that in future builds. I'll get more light up marquees and do that. It makes it look Watch cool. Um, but that's about it. I just wanted to show it to you. It's definitely possible to do a, a, a four player six button layout with the trackball on the Simpsons. Uh, you can make it however you want. You could play Golden Tee forever. That's the only reason I did this is to get something to play Golden Tee with. All right. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, whatever. All right. Peace.